So today I want to tell you a story about Monday that I spent with a friend of mine who is a huge property investor. His name is Renato. Now it started as a nice day out looking at a few of Renato's investment properties and other amazing homes in the area quickly took a turn for the worst. But before I explain why our day took a turn for the worst, I want to take you back and explain how I first met Renato. I'd been selling real estate for about a year and a half at this point in time and had just landed the biggest sale of my career so far. A 1,500 square meter block of land in one of the best streets in the suburbs. So it's late one Friday night, I'm at an open house about two weeks into the campaign and in walks Renato. Now I'd been in the industry for about a year and a half at this point in time and most of the properties that I'd been selling were to first home buyers and in that price point. So Renato takes a quick look around this tiny three bedroom weatherboard walks to the back fence of the property, walks back from the back fence of the property and says to me, I want to buy it. Now, as I mentioned, I'd been selling most of my properties to people buying their first home. So this was my first time coming across someone that would offer on the spot, let alone in the same week. So Renato says to me, I'll give you 1.4, but the owners have to take it tonight or otherwise it's off the table. Picture me, white face, not hard to do. Shocked with a number of things running through my head. 1.4, this is a great offer. But what about all the other buyers that have seen it? What about them? I wonder if someone will pay more. But what if they won't and this is all we get? I wonder what the owners will think. I should probably respond now. He's been waiting this entire time. I've been having this inner monologue conversation with myself. Long story short, we negotiated back and forth and Renato ended up buying the home. So Renato and I have been good friends ever since. We sold him that property. Then we ended up selling his house for him around the corner. This brings me to the present. So I'm speaking with Renato last week and he says, hey mate, what are you up to? And I respond, same as always, trying to find people that are looking to sell or people that are looking to buy. Then Renato says, I need to sell a bunch of my residential portfolio. Do you want to sell those? Uh, yeah. Now this is where the story takes a turn. So we agree to go and look at the houses that he wants to sell on Monday. Morning vlog. Today is an interesting day. Renato, who is a client of mine for a number of years now has decided to sell off quite a bit of his residential portfolio um, just because of the amount of land tax that he's paying. So I'm going to have a look at all of them today with him and uh, potentially list a few of them for sale. It all starts out fine. We head down to Berwick. His property is in the older section of Berwick, which has got a lot of character. It's two blocks on 1,800 square meters in total with potential for five properties to be built. Then Renato comes up with the idea to go and show me these properties that are being built just around the corner, which are amazing. And as we go over the hill, Wow. That's all one. I just like that they're all unique styles, like you've got your Tuscan here as you mentioned. Yeah. That's awesome. There's one on the market in Harkaway with... Uh, Helicopter pad? Yeah, you've seen it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. It's good that they're not all the same. Like yeah. they've all done a different style, it actually works well. That's cool. I often wonder if someone built, you know, not that big but something in that style in like Mitchum for example whether because it's so different it would do really well or really poorly I feel like it would do really well because someone would, would appreciate well. it yeah that would this is sick this house it's weird that he's he's gone a very French provincial look but then he's put the um clinker brick into it yeah it's good and then it happens we get to his family home where he grew up and it's been broken into. Again. 
All the appliances are gone. His paperwork's thrown everywhere. I didn't film anymore at that point. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much or little a person has. We need to respect each other. I know we can't control what other people are going to do in this life. If someone's going to break into your property, they're going to break into your property. I guess the long moral of the story for this one is just to respect each other and not just to think about ourselves, but how our actions affect other people. This vlog took a bit of a negative turn. At least you guys got to meet Renato. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, happy house hunting. Oh, I'm sweating. I turned the aircon on here in. Can't talk. I turned the aircon in. I turned the aircon on in here like 20 minutes ago, I reckon, when I came in to set up, and it was always freezing in this office, yet for some strange reason, I'm still sweating 20 minutes later. Now we have audio. Just need a chair. Now the camera's the wrong height.